My name is Nandini Kapaya. I work uh, in Android as part of Google. I'm an engineering director in Android. I live in Sunnyvale, California. My average day has a big component of taking care of my children and going to work. I work on Android location, which is getting your location, your blue dot on Google Maps right. Uh, Android authentication, which is making sure you can log in and set up seamlessly and smoothly. And personal safety, which is to make sure that your devices work for you when you know it's, it's of most need to you. So a lot of folks on my team have deep domain expertise in their fields. We take that and we take the ideas and the innovation that our maybe product managers come up with and we have to put that together to build a great experience. An example of that is earthquake early warning. USGS estimates that about 800,000 people have been killed in the last 20 years by earthquakes. An earthquake wave moves slowly compared to how fast we can detect the shaking has happened, figure out like what might be the magnitude of this earthquake and what is the region that it would affect and then send a warning to the rest of the phones in that region before the earthquake can reach them. Earthquake early warning works differently in different parts of the world. There are some places like California where we have seismometers that are buried in the ground and when there is an earthquake these seismometers pick up the shaking and they send an alert which we then take that alert and and broadcast it to all the Android phones in, in that specific area. In other parts of the world, there are no seismometers. In those places, for example, in the Philippines, Androids uh, in, that, in those areas work as tiny seismometers. They pick up the shaking and collect that information and send it up to our earthquake early warning servers. And from that, we're able to tell how uh, whether an earthquake is coming, how big is that gonna be, what is the magnitude, what is the area of folks that will be affected, and we send an alert back down to the phones. We're not detecting earthquakes, we're in fact racing them. Phones closer to the epicenter see the shaking first, and we're able to tell how that's gonna spread out and send a warning to the other folks who might be in the, in the area that, that uh, the earthquake would affect. Earthquake injuries can be cut by 50% with a few seconds of warning, and we see that we have an opportunity to do that and help folks that live in seismically active areas. Taking the expertise that we have and the capabilities of the phone and bringing that together and working with you know, our product teams and our user experience teams and so on to build these experiences is what I do. I focus more on the engineering side of it and making sure the, you know, the technology can meet the need of the product. My team is um, awesome. I'm in awe of how deep their knowledge goes in some areas, like how much they know about like how GPS works or how much they've thought about earthquake early warning. And I feel that really lifts me up up in terms of uh, how I look at my work, how I understand it, and really understanding the domain in addition to, you know, the computer science part of it is, uh, I think, the best part of my day.